up guys Phoenix here and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Brick Bronze so it's kind of late in the night so I'm gonna be a little bit more quiet with my recording this time around but I wanted to continue because it's been a couple of days so while you guys were gone I actually ended up catching some new Pokemon if you notice in top right it says I have 18 so we have a Ghastly on our team now and I'm gonna name that after um, one of our subs. I was gonna think I can name it here, but I think I have to go to a PC. So while we're at the PC, I'll rename it and I'll actually show you some of the new Pokemon. So we have, let me just name him first. I'm gonna name him after Sam. You will, and it was like Maz or Maz Mazada, but it can't fit, so I'm gonna just put Samuel Maz. There we go. Let's see, did the name change go? Yeah. So we end up catching a Pikachu. Um, Slugma, Magby. I went back to the graveyard at night to catch Yamask. We got all these two. So later on, I will be leveling up and evolving them. But for now, I wanted to explore this new town a little bit and see what's going on here. Because there's like a floating water thing here, and that's the first thing that grabs your attention. So let's go check it out. And I wonder if this is a gym. This looks more like a gym than like a, a lab. We got a little lakeside over there. That's pretty cool. Oh wait, this is this might be a lab. Okay. Not everything's a gym. <laughs> Let's talk to this guy. Welcome to Laguna Lake Laboratory. Here we explore and study the bottom of the lake and what's been left behind by nature. Using the submersible known as the underwater mining vessel, so the UMV, we have sent many people deep below the surface in search of whatever they may find within the lake's trenches. The UMV is electric powered by special batteries. You will need to purchase your own batteries to power the UMV if you wish to go on a dive yourself. Hmm, that's interesting. However, we do have enough money that we could send you down once for free. Once below the surface, you may search the walls and the trenches for shiny spots and indicating hidden objects. So I think it's like a little mini game, probably, unless it's like part of the diving feature. Simply click on a shiny spot to begin mining. Okay, so the explosives will break away the rock quickly, but the drill is much more careful and precise. The reason I mentioned this is because with each attempt to break away the rock, the walls become more fragile. All right, so it's like if you're if you're digging willy nilly, you're probably gonna mess up the sides of the the wall. You may keep anything that you find. <laughs> yeah, let's try it. Um, yeah, I'll save it first, just in case if I mess up. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, it's pretty cool. So let's see what the shiny objects look like. It's like a maze down here. No, there's nothing shiny down here. And we're almost out of air. No. Let's go back the way we came. All right. I just want to find one shiny thing, even if I don't mine it properly. I want to see if I can mine it properly. And. Oh, there it is. No, I saw you. All right. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so let's try. Was that a sunstone? I think that's a sunstone. Let's try it. I just wanna, I wanna get that sunstone really bad. Yeah, we got a sunstone. Let's try blowing up something over here. See if we can find another item. Oh, is that a green shard? This is kind of like the original Pokemon game, guys, if you're wondering how I know these items. Um, the original Pokemon game, yep, that's a green shot, I think, or a green plate. Um, is there something over here? Nope. Oh, I think there's something here, but I'm missing it. Yeah, it's a purple plate. I don't think I'll get it in time. Yeah, we needed one more. Obtain a substone and a green shard. That's nice. Okay, so that's a pretty cool mini game. What else can we find down here? And a sunstone is good for evolution. That's a very rare item. I wasn't expecting to get it so early. There's another spot over there. Let's go see what we can get. Oh, and there was something over there. You saw that. Maybe that was somebody else's. All right, so I'm going to try bombing areas and see if I find things. So there's two. I think that's a dusk stone. So we have two spots. Let's get the stone first. I'm pretty sure this is a dusk stone. Oh, wait, no. What is this? Is that a lucky egg? Some of you guys probably are mad that I'm like nerding out. Like, I know a lot of these things. Okay, what is going on here? Why isn't this giving me an item? 
No! Okay, I messed up. Yeah, I think I messed up. Yeah, ah, oh, man. Or maybe that was just part of the wall. Okay, obtain an oval stone. I think that was just part of the wall. I didn't really mess up. This is pretty cool. You can get some rare items downstairs. Oh, down here. Oval stone, I think, is to get a happini. So that's a item that's going to be useful for getting a new Pokemon eventually. Well, let's see. Um, we're almost out of air, and I can't see any more shiny spots, so... I think... Oh, there's one straight ahead. Let's go grab that, and I think that might be the last one with all the air we have left. So let's bomb away at three different locations. There's one spot right there. Let's see if we can spot anything. Okay, so we spot one item. Let's grab this. Nice. Is that a Moonstone? <gasps> I think I actually need that. And what is this? Is this a plate or is this... Part of the wall. Oh, it's part of the wall. Okay, so when you see those purple things, it knows to stay away from it. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Give me this. Don't break. Wall, please don't break. Yeah, blue shard. Okay, and we can't find anything else, so I think the wall is going to collapse on us. But we got a moonstone, I think. Yes, okay, so we can involve Obsonix into a Nido Queen, which is perfect because I didn't even know where to get those before. So that's a win win for us. Alright, I can't find any items besides this red shard here. So, what we're gonna do is just mine this out. Okay, yeah, that was the only item. And I think we're gonna go above ground now. We're gonna quit, because... Alright, we're almost out of air, and I think we got a lot of items. So, if we need to go down again... How do you buy batteries? Let's see. Oh, Roblox? Oh, man. Hmm. I might invest in the future, but for now, we don't need that. I've been only below the surface of the lake once. Usually, I run tests from here and the lab on what others find deep below. I've even witnessed people finding stones that cause certain Pokemon to evolve. It's astounding. Imagine everything that can be discovered beneath this ancient lake. Yeah, I found some pretty cool stuff, bro. If you haven't found a fossil in the lake, you can bring it to me and I'll revive it with this machine. Oh, that'd have been so cool if I found a fossil. Aw, oh, man. Laguna Lake was formed millions of years ago by a meteor. As a result, there are lots of mysterious stones and fossils beneath the lake in its trenches. Okay, so yeah, it's like this lake. Probably the Pokemon got smited by that meteor. Let's go back outside and explore the rest of the town real quick. And it's nighttime now, so we have to be quiet not to wake up the Wabbits. So we saw the daycare there. Um, this seems like a skate park when I saw it, yeah. I think you get a bike later, so that's a skate park. And there's nothing else over here, so I'm gonna go back. We don't have anything to ride here. Maybe we get it in this town, but this this town seems kind of empty. So I'm gonna kind of just move on ahead, I guess. There's nothing else to do in the town. I wish there was a couple more like houses, even though I didn't really check them last time. Ooh, a pokeball. Let's see. Nice mystic water. So the Ghastly on our team, I want to get him into a haunter. I was going to train the Yamask. But I feel like um, this one might be a lot better to keep on the team a Haunter. And I have a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon, so I think I'm going to mix it up with my final two with making them like future Gen Pokemon instead of Gen 1. Unless some people don't care. I'm eventually going to try and get all the Pokemon anyways. Oh, please, please give me a fishing rod. Back in my day, I used to enter a lot of fishing competitions, and that's a nice polywag. My highest streak of relaying Pokemon consecutively was 51. I love fishing so much that I moved out here next to the lake. I don't fish very, very much nowadays. Hey, I know. I can share one of my older rods with you. That's pretty cool. So to use the rod, just go near water and click on the surface. Select the old rod and wait until you get a bite. Then just click to quickly reel it in. If you don't do it fast enough, the Pokemon can get away. Good luck and happy fishing. Thank you. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to save it real quick. Just because we made progress. And I want to actually fish something up, even though we might not keep it. Old rod. Mm -mm, we're waiting and we're fishing. Look at my little leg dab. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's typical. Oh, Magikarp is usually what old rods bring in. Now, Nightshade is another ability that's kind of like Dragon Rage. It does your Pokemon's level as damage. So, Nightshade will always do 15 right now. So, it's perfect for like catching Pokemon. But as you level up, it gets stronger. So, we're gonna throw. Uh, Eh, we can throw a Pokeball. It's not too important. Come on, just stay. 
There we go. So we just got a Magikarp for the Pokédex. I'm gonna start collecting them for the entries, just because eventually I want to start like leveling things up as I get farther. And if I have them already in the PC, I can just do like level up episodes or evolution episodes. It's pretty useful. Anyways, let's go down to the next route and see what we have over here because this town is pretty much empty now that we've discovered the submarine. And that was about it. As you walk down the hill on Route 8, you get a great view of the ocean. I feel like the next gym is a water gym. There's too much water on here for it to just be a coincidence. Is that Jake? Jake! How you doing, Jake? Oh, hey, Phoenix Death. Looks like you finally caught up with me. You took on Team Eclipse all by yourself? That was pretty brave of you. I've got to be honest, that whole time I was just waiting at the gym for Sebastian to get back so I could be the first person to get the Brimstone badge. I was honestly too scared to challenge Team Eclipse. Oh my god, this guy is a weakling. But you've proven to me that we are really capable of doing great things with the help of our Pokemon. I don't want to hear any more from you, Drake. He wants to battle me. You weren't able- I've got tons of potion stuff if your Pokemon get hurt in battle, I'll heal them afterwards. Okay, so does he want to fight him? Oh, okay. He's he's following me. Though I don't really trust you, bro, because he didn't do much. You, you just said you waited around. I could have died in that volcano. But if he's on my team, we might get a couple of double battles. <gasps> Ooh, Swablu. Maybe I should make that my flying type. We can get an Altaria. That'd just be pretty cool. Oh, none of my abilities f affect him. That's pretty funny. Let me just try throwing a Great Ball and see how that works. Should work out fine. You know, easy peasy. One, two, three. Come on. Doom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Swabble data has been added to Pokédex. Um, let's just add him. I might do some grinding for them off stream or off video. I'm just gonna level them up. But Ghastly should be fine for this part. Look at this guy. He looks, he looks so sad. Oh, there are two of you. That sure is unexpected. I guess we'll have a double battle then. Oh, uh, double battle is very easy. We take turns just whooping the Pokemon's booty. Also, he's a bird type. Fletchinder and Pidgeotto. Oh, he chose Vaporeon. So he chose my weakness as the Pokemon he wants to um, evolve his Eevee into. I think that's probably why they gave him an Eevee, so he can choose the evolution that beats your Pokemon's type. That does a heavy amount of damage. I think I might swap out until it levels up a bit more. Just because Lily can easily wipe them all out with Thundershock. And now that um, my Ghastly has been in battle, he's going to get XP for it, so he should be fine. Vaporeon is so busted, man. And those Aurora Beam, that's an ice move, which takes down flying very easily. Now, to make the battle easy, we're going to target Pidgeotto. Just to take him out before he can get any attacks in on us. And we got the nice power life so on Flatch in there. So, this should be a very quick battle. Mm -mm. I thought my Pokemon were over-leveled before. But I think that um, the enemy trainers have caught up recently. Because they're like 23. So, we might be okay to start leveling up off video, because I didn't want to level up too much. Interesting, he's a Staravia. I think this guy's team is just every generation's bird Pokemon. Except he only has three of them, so it's only like the first three gens. Alright, so we're going to target Fletchinder now. Oh, I thought that would have killed it. It got paralyzed, that's pretty good. Um, let's see. What do we want to do now? I'm going to take off Fletchinder because that's the last Pokemon Ghastly got in contact with. Um, it probably won't get XP from the Staravia. So what I think I'm going to do is, before we kill Staravia, I'm going to swap it back out. Yes, level 17. Nice. Yeah, this is low enough. I think if I swap it out, um, Jake will kill it. So I'll get the XP for it. Hopefully Jake doesn't fail me. Don't let me down, Jake. Just, just hit it with a, just hit it with an ice move. Yeah. Okay. So we get the XP for it, and I think we get level 18 now. Yes. So I was like, what, three levels in one battle? That's pretty gross. Wow. Looks like you got in the hang of it. All right. So we got 960 dollars. Let's move on. 
just heals our Pokemon for us. That's so cool. All right, and this path, you can see the ocean like they said. And as you can see all the trainers too. I think there's about three more battles up ahead. So let's kind of get through them. Oh, hello. You trainers look eager for a battle. Lucky for you, my Pokemon are in prime condition. Will it be something that uh, Ghastly can kill? Hmm, grass types. So this would be better for fire Pokemon, but I think... Meh, I'll switch out Charmeleon. I wasn't going to, but it might be better that way just to kind of get th through it. I want my Ghastly to learn a basic Psychic Attack, like Confusion, because that would do a lot more damage. But for now, he's, he's kind of inferior to the other Pokemon, because Lick is not a very strong offensive move. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so Ember on Ivysaur. We'll target Ivysaur first, just because I feel like it. And I would use Overheat, but Overheat lowers my special attack, which means all my other fire moves will do a lot less for the rest of the battle. And I kind of don't want that, just because he has four Pokemon. All right, Jake got poison. As long as it's not me, I'm fine with it. And I think we take out Ivysaur now, because we did 50% last time. Yep. Our Tremelion Trimil Trimil is pretty strong. It's like level 26. Almost level 30 already. That's amazing. Confused Ray. Okay, so we can start making Pokemon hit themselves in the face. That's going to be pretty funny. Um, let's get rid of... I want to keep Mean Look, actually. Let's get rid of... None of them. Meh. Mean Look stops Pokemon from running away, so if I ever fight like a legendary that runs away, I can use Mean Look and they can't leave the battle. It's a very effective move. And Jake's getting his butt beat, like he's not doing anything this battle. Alright, so let's kill Bloom now. And then we'll swap back into our Ghastly to get the XP on him from the new the two new Pokemon. I thought Jake would be more helpful because he has ice moves, but he's kind of useless right now. Like his Vaporeon's about to die to poison damage. Mm -mm -mm. It's kind of like me 1v2ing at this point because he's not doing much of a damage. Okay, at least he didn't hit Gloom because I'm about to kill Gloom, so if he used a quick attack there, it would have been a waste. But this, this is good. This Ghast is just loving this. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to swap out into Ghastly. Meh, actually no, I'm not. I'm going to just overheat twice and end the game. It's taking too long because Jake's not doing his part. Enjoy the XP, Charmillion. Oh, he didn't get that much. Oh, wow. Thought he'd get more. Now you attack, Jake. Now you attack. His Pokemon's going to die, too. Yep. I, I knew this was coming. Is that my Magikarp or Jake's? <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, it's my Magikarp. Jake only has one Pokemon on him? Wow. Okay, I love you, Jake. And my Charmeleon gets stunned. Okay. Jake is officially the worst person I've ever met. Like, just saying. I don't like Jake at all. Um, switch out to Samuel. Come on, Charmeleon. We just need to hit one time. I think you get healed after every battle, so it should be fine. Now I know why Jake has so many potions, because he sucks and just keeps like letting Pokemon die. Oh man, this battle's taking way longer than it should. Mm -mm. Let's try Nightshade on it. Oh, wow, my Ghastly outspeeds them. That's pretty crazy. That means I have a pretty fast Ghastly. So if I raise it in special attack and things like that, it should be very strong later. Even in prime condition, my Pokemon weren't good enough. Yeah, just give me some money. Okay, so he healed us again. As long as he keeps healing us, I can't really complain. I'm gonna skip you. I'll come back to you later when I want to train up. <gasps> A Lillipop. That's so adorable. All right, let's hit you with a Nightshade. Our Nightshade now does 20, by the way, because we're level 20. Remember what I told you? It does our level. Oh, it doesn't affect the lip up. All right, so we're going to just ignore you then. 
We don't have time to play their games, Lillipup. Oh, an old well. So this well looks really old. I wonder what you can do here. You see how it says there's a, a spinning thing here. I'm trying to think of any TM that would work here. Maybe strength or I don't know. Anyways. I didn't see that trainer, so we got like two more. Yeah, two against one, buddy. Schoolboy Dexter. So he's a Nummel and a Combuskin. That's pretty cool. Combuskin is one of my favorite. I mean, the, that evolution line. I love Blaziken. It's just that I, I, I picked Charmander because I have a better connection with Charmander. Just because it was one of my first. But it was easily a coin toss, if you guys saw the first episode, between Torchic and Charmander. Okay, that's my sign to swap out. Samuel because he just got he nearly got one shotted All right, um, let's swap out to Obstinix I haven't showed Obstinix any love this episode Don't let me down <laughs> It's level 25 so it should do something And I forgot did he learn a new attack last episode? Um, I'm trying to remember I said I wasn't going to use Takedown anymore. Oh, yeah, learned Bite. A few reswipes might be better. Let's try it. It is pretty sweet. But it's not enough. So we're going to try... Okay, Obstinix avoided the Sand attack. That's pretty good. Oh, okay. N Numel used this attack called Lava Plume, which hits his own teammate. So he killed his own Combuskin. Interesting, but we took burn damage from that now So we just need to take Nommel out. I think he's almost out of Pokemon, right? That's interesting his Pokemon they hurt each other. It's not very team-like um, See if we can get oh my goodness Jake, please stop using sand attack. He's so annoying like, that's very annoying that they put him in this part of the game, but he doesn't actually do anything to help the fights. It just makes them extra long. I then want to swap out from opposite next, and I'm just going to spam Dragon Rage. Alright. Yeah, Opsonix can't hang with these until he levels up. Once he evolves, he should be fine, but for now, he's kind of useless. Or she, it's a girl Pokemon. Now you use Water Pulse when you're about to die. I, I hate I hate Jake so much. Okay, so that attack doesn't hurt heat heat more, just because that's probably it's like its ability. I need to get rid of this this uh, Magikarp because I didn't actually want it on my team, and now he's just. Keep getting swapped in if Jake Poke if Jake's Pokemon dies, and Jake's Pokemon's dying every battle. This is this is just a mess in the making, guys. All right, so we killed Heatmore. Nummel's still on the field. That's like one of the first ones up there. We need to get rid of him. <gasps> Ooh, Electro Ball. That's a very broken attack. I'm pretty sure. It's like way stronger than Thunder Shock. So we're gonna get rid of um Cotton Spore. I don't really use Cotton Spore at all. All right, so this should be fine. I'm gonna try it out. I don't think it works on Nummo, but if he sends out another fire type, it should work on that. All right, use Amnesia. Torkoal. All right, let's get rid of Torkoal first. We're gonna Dragon Rage him and Electro Ball him. Just because I don't want to get an overheat from Torkoal. Oh no, I'm, oh, I'm such an idiot. I think I didn't teach the Electro Ball. Oh man, I'm so angry at myself. I think I clicked too fast, guys. Oh man. I'm gonna look up where the move relearner is because you can relearn moves, but oh man, I'm so upset at myself. Good thing he already knows an electric attack, otherwise I'd be pretty upset. Alright, Fire Fang, let's not do this wrong. Should a move to be deleted? Yes. Which move will be delete? Scratch. There we go. Did I click no or something? I think I clicked no, that's what I messed up. Aw, oh, man. Anyways, he only has Numel left, I'm pretty sure, so we're gonna just end this battle real quick. I don't think Flaffy... 
can use electric attacks on it, so I'm going to use takedown instead. Just because I think it's ground, and ground doesn't get affected by electric attacks. And it avoids the attack, of course. These battles are just not going my way at all. Alright, Dragon Rage again, and take down. Though Dragon Rage should finish it, so we don't really need to use an attack, but we have to kind of lock one in anyways. There we go, level 26. Does Samuel get a level? No. Okay. Obstinix does? Okay, that's pretty cool. I can't say I was surprised I lost, but I didn't actually try either. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright, heal me up, Jake. You loser. <laughs> Alright, we're almost to the bottom of the hill. Mm -mm. I don't want to fight this lumberjack, but I think I have to. He's pointed at an angle where I think I have to fight him. Let's see. Oh, I don't. Okay, that's pretty cool. Maybe yeah, we can avoid some of these fights. I'm going to come back and do them later. But I don't want Jake with me when I do the fights. He's really, he's really bad. I think the game knows Jake's bad. That's why they, they stopped it. <laughs> Is there like one more at the base? What is this? It's like a ranch or something. I'll come back to it later. I want to hit the town first and I'll come back after. Like, I really want to get rid of Jake. Uh, I think we have one more where we have to keep Jake with us. Oh, oh man, I forgot to swap Magic Carp out. Bow to your sensei. Yes, master. Black Belt Gresham, teach me the ways of Kung Fu. Hit Moon Chan and Mod Choke. Now, if I had the psychic moves, this would have been really easy, but I don't, so I'm gonna put him on chance to sleep. Yeah, this, this is what I was avoiding. I tried to put him to sleep so he didn't punch me, but then he punched me anyways. Alright, put him to sleep. And he killed me. That sad face. Alright, let's keep Charmeleon out. Um, switch. And we'll use Dragon Rage on Machoke just to get rid of him, because I'm pretty sure he's below 40 right now. And Hitmochan's still sleeping, so it's basically 1v2 right now. And Jake's still doing nothing. Like, it's actually pretty frustrating that Jake is such a useless character. Because that they put more Pokemon on the enemy team to make this fight, like, fair. But he doesn't do anything. Like, I almost want to just skip past it, because it's not fun to play with Jake. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 -mm. Fire Fang. Macho. Alright, so it's back awake. Use Faint. Don't think that's that effective. I'm gonna keep targeting Macho for now. It's like he's getting he's getting he's getting really hurt. It's gonna have to force out my Um Magikarp soon. Alright, they retargeted my Charmeleon, so that should be fine. I can take a couple of hits. As long as Jake keeps doing attacks, I should be fine. Hey! Okay, good. We killed one. Monferno. Now, that's another starter Pokemon. So I think that's Chimchar. So, I'm gonna target him just because I don't want to deal with him. Yep, I knew the Fury Swipes was coming. Okay, somebody dodged it. Good. I kind of expected a Mach Punch, to be honest. But even then, we're just gonna get rid of him as soon as possible. I don't want to deal with him. And now, we're there was one. So Hitmochan can't really defeat us. I'm pretty sure it's it's over right now. I'm gonna try to hit him with a Dragon Rage to end it, but he might have more than 40. Let's just see though. Didn't do any damage. Wow. I wonder what type is Bullet Punch. Okay, so we beat him. Oh, nuts! You beat me. Like I re I really want to just take Jake's half of the money. All right, thanks for the healing, Jake. Can okay, we can we get him out of here? Oh, there's a tree back there. I'll go back for it later, too. I just want to get Jake off of me. All right, get out of here. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so excited to use what I've learned now. There's gym ahead in the next city. I can use the skill you taught me there and earn another gym badge. I'll see you there. I, I really despise your character. <laughs> All right, so we're going to save it there. I'm going to check up there real quick. What's up here? Oh, some sightseeing stuff. This is, please don't be a trainer. Oh, my God. Artist stand. Like, you couldn't just have a casual conversation there. You had to come up here and fight me. Alright, so he has a smear goal. 
I think that's a normal type, so I'm gonna switch out to Charmeleon again. Just because Charmeleon's really, really strong right now, as it stands against most types. And also, that Smeargle's level 27, that's pretty crazy. Bubble, wow. I think he read me, like, how did he know to use Bubble? You wouldn't normally use Bubble against a Ghastly. He read my mind, guys. Mm, 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 mm. The battle was inspiring. Now, Smeargles are pretty interesting Pokemon, if you guys didn't know. He can actually use this move called Sketch that lets him copy any Pokemon move in the game, even if he's not supposed to be able to learn it. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go here. Rose Cove Beach is a great place for you and your Pokemon to relax and maybe even get a tan. That's the name of the town, Rose Cove Town, maybe. Hey Phoenix, I ran into this guy when I came out of the gate. He's one of Team Eclipse's hooligans. Who are you calling a hooligan? Team Eclipse is here on official business. I can't be letting either of you to pass this point. You need to turn around and go back. Why were you cooks up to this time? That's none of your business. Okay. Knowing Team Eclipse, it can't be good. We need to find out what's going on. Alright, so Jake's gonna battle him for us and lose. But we can go on ahead. I can see some Team Eclipse people up ahead. Very interesting. Anyways, we're going to find out what's going on in Rose Cove Town when we get back in the next episode. But hopefully you guys did enjoy our little adventure. Minus Jake, because Jake's annoying. But if you did, be sure to hit the like button. And I will see you guys in the next one.